Hello everybody, my name is Dirty Dutch Mantel and Mountain Empire, this is your wrestling. Alright, wrestling fans, should be a tremendous contest here as we've got Rex Atkins in the green and white on the left side of your screen taking on Wolfie D from the hood on the right side of your screen. And of course, Wolfie D, part of the world famous tag team PG 13, and a tremendous competitor, no question about that. As Rex Atkins, of course, he's a uh, multi time Canadian champion has held numerous titles throughout the New York and Northeastern area of the country. So this should be a tremendous matchup here. As uh, this is the first time these guys have ever met in the squared circle. And of course it's happening right here for you in Southern States Wrestling fans. We're glad you tuned in, turned on and checking out Southern States Wrestling, no matter how you may be joining us all across this great world of ours. As Rex Atkins is having a bit of a argument with the fans here at ringside but uh, he really needs to be focused on what's in the ring and that's Wolfie D waiting for him of course we saw Wolfie not too long ago here in Southern States Wrestling uh, had a tremendous matchup with Dr. Tom Pritchard as Atkins again back into the corner here Wolfie's ready to rock he's ready to rumble as Atkins now seeking the refuge of the ropes again here. As they're squaring off here in center ring, should be a tremendous matchup once we get it underway. Wolfie D now spinning around a series. Hammer lock right back into that side headlock position now. Both men back into the ropes, comes across. And Wolfie caught him right there. Big head of steam. As Wolfie D standing strong and tall in the center of the ring, waiting on former Canadian champion Rex Atkins to step back in there. As uh, Atkins again spending his time out at ringside arguing with the fans, that's not going to get him anywhere. He needs to get in there and try to figure out what he can do with Wolfie D. Double tough, legendary competitor, of course, from the hood in Memphis, Tennessee. As Atkins here very reluctantly stepping back into the ring. As Atkins, yeah, he just bailed out again. He's spending a little more time outside the ring than he is in at this point. Atkins threatening Wolfie D with a chair. Wolfie picks up the ever so trusty hubcap. As we got a bit of a standoff here at this point in time. Rex Atkins, Wolfie D, referees trying to get Atkins back in the ring, get this matchup going here. As both men circling around here as they lock up collar and elbow. Wolfie D winding up with that arm of Atkins. Now planting an elbow. And a second elbow. As Wolfie winding up again on that arm, Atkins finds himself in trouble. As Wolfie clamping down on that arm bar, Wolfie D, tremendous competitor, of course, you know, we've all seen him in Memphis throughout the entire wrestling world. He has competed in every major promotion you can think of or could name. Atkins now opening up on Wolfie, got him down now, put the boots to him. Rex Atkins, by no means, he's a, not a slouch by any means, tremendous competitor in his own right. Spends a little too much time arguing with the fans, in my book, not focusing on his opponent, and that could cost him, like it did right there. As Wolfie now, he's going to show him a little southern beatdown. Kind of got a north versus the south thing going here. Is, oh, Atkins.
gets into that buckle hard. And again, hard into the buckle. Wolfie D now just having fun, bouncing him around, corner to corner. Inverted atomic drop right there. Hard right hand to follow it. And up and over the top rope. Calvary Baptist Church, 1238 Pine Street, Kingsport, Tennessee. Regular schedule of services, Sunday, 9.15 a.m. for Bible study fellowship class for all ages. 10.30 a.m. worship. 6 p.m. blast for children, wake for youth. Sunday night life for adults. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. children and youth activities. 3D Bible study for adults. Hi, I'm Ronnie Garvin at Mountain Empire. This is your wrestling my name is Tim Young, and this is my marketing firm. We represent clients all over the globe. And like the king of king sport, I'm the king of marketing. So if you need anything, web design, social media, commercials, advertising, creative, jingles, I'll write a jingle right now to show you how good I am. It'll be in the next commercial. Tim Young's unnamed marketing firm. You need us. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Hello everyone, this is your friend Misty James. And I'm inviting you to come out Tuesday, December 23rd at the Farmer's Market in Kingsport, Tennessee to celebrate my birthday and Southern States Wrestling Christmas Star Wars. Please bring a canned food item for the local food banks. That's Tuesday night. December 23rd, bell time 7.30, in a well-heated farmer's market. And I will see you ringside. All of his cheating tactics have paid off for the moment at least. As Atkins only got a two count out of that situation. Rex Atkins, tremendous competitor, no question about that. Multi-time Canadian champion. And he's got Wolfie D in trouble right now over that second rope. Choking him down. And brings him over, oh, and put him right into that steel ring post. And I mean, he drilled him into that post. Again, slides in to break that count. Atkins now, heading over close to our production area here. As Rex Atkins continues his arguments with the fans, and again, it costs him. Coming in as Wolfie now, caught him with that kick now, Irish slip coming across. Atkins, oh, oh, he caught Wolfie right there with a DDT. In for a cover and two count only. As Wolfie D was able to roll up out of that. But a tremendous DDT there by Atkins as he caught Wolfie coming in. And now Atkins is gonna focus on that head, neck, and shoulder area of Wolfie D. Got him in a vice block here. Twist in that neck. Oh, and again, applying a tremendous amount of pressure. Rex Atkin, of course, has been here in Southern States Wrestling before, part of the T-Rex Express. Tremendous tag team that held numerous, numerous regional titles throughout the Northeast and Canadian tag team champions as well. As these guys have come down south here, and Wolfie D now laying him in on Atkins. And Atkins retired, returns fire with a hard knee right to the midsection. As he's got Wolfie in a bit of trouble here at this point. Firing in a couple more shots on him. Wolfie D seeking the refuge of the ropes here for the moment, trying to catch his breath here. As Atkins right back in on him, choking him across that rope. Referee threatening to disqualify him for putting his hands on him. All that's doing is giving Wolfie time to gain uh, gain a couple extra breaths. Oh, and Atkins caught him with a hard shot right there to the ribs. 
and a rake right down the back. Atkins now moving back in on Wolfie D. He's got him choked here. And I mean, he is applying pressure on him. As Atkins has got Wolfie in quite a bit of trouble at this point in time. But, you know, you ram a man's head into a steel ring post. Oh! There we go! Wolfie now has had enough! No, she no! Here we go! And Atkins caught him right there in what looks like a sleeper hold. Atkins now with a sleeper hold on Wolfie D. Applying everything he's got to try to wear down this tremendous competitor. Clamping in. Wolfie's trying to turn into him, it looks like. If he could turn it into a side headlock position, perhaps, and go for a suplex. And now, unfortunately, Atkins now bringing him down all the way down onto the canvas here as he's got Wolfie D in trouble. That shot to the ring post earlier really took its impact. No question about that. And now the referee's checking his arm. Wolfie's still got life there. Atkins continuing to apply pressure. That's one arm drop. The arm drops three times and the match is over. There's the second one. This is it right here. Now Wolfie's got signs of life. Wolfie now coming back up here. Trying to turn this momentum around. Turn it into his man. Now he got him. Oh, into the ropes. And Wolfie now with a sleeper hold of his own. Wolfie D has it right to Atkins again. Oh, man, Atkins. Nicely executed belly to back suplex there by the former Canadian champion Rex Atkins. As both men are in trouble at this point in time in the contest. Don't forget, fans, Christmas at Star Wars Farmers Market, Kingsport, Tennessee. You don't want to miss it. Wolfie, open it up now. Series of hard right hands. Irish whip got reversed. Duck under. Oh, Wolfie's got him. Oh, neck breaker right there. Neck breaker by Wolfie D as Atkins is in trouble. Big elbow smash coming across. And two count only. Not enough to put Atkins away. So close, but so far. Wolfie now got his man pinned in the corner. Irish went across to the far side and caught him right there with a boot coming in. Atkins now on that second rope. He is perched. He is ready. He's waiting. Double axe handle blow onto Wolfie D. Atkins now feeling good. He's on the other corner. Same scenario, different corner. He's waiting on Wolfie. Wolfie D turns around, but no, Wolfie caught him that time. And throw him in. That could do it right there, and it does. Your winner of the contest. Right out of the hood of Memphis. Great matchup there with Wolfie D and Rex Atkins. Tremendous contest. Standing here with heavyweight champion DeAndre Jackson. DeAndre, it was signed for the Thanksgiving extravaganza. Mother Nature intervened with a large blizzard in the state of Virginia. Frank Parker wasn't able to make it on Thanksgiving, but the match has been re-signed. Christmas Star Wars, you and Frank Parker, heavyweight championship on the line. DeAndre, he's one big bad dude, but you are too. Okay. I changed my Christmas wish list since the last time, okay? I don't want the car. Um, I would rather have a boat. But also, that victory over Frank the Tank Parker. You see, this man, four times pinned in his career here in SSW. This belt, he held and ran through everybody like the tank he is. Great respect for this man right here. But guess what? You are now facing a more mature, more wiser, and more smarter guy here in SSW. The man of a thousand and four monikers, DeAndre Jackson. I plan to give it my all that night. I plan to be fighting for the people of Tennessee because this title represents the people of Tennessee and the southern states. 
And when you represent everybody over the southern states, you're something like a people's champ. So I got to be the people's champ for everybody that's watching me. For little Johnny who wrote me a happy Thanksgiving card in the mail. It was real cute. It had glitter. For little Susie down in Greenville, she said, well wishes. And you know, I got to fight for them. I cannot let these people down. I cannot let the children down because on that night, I'm hoping that Santa delivers like he always has because I've been a good boy. Have you been a good boy? Uh, I doubt that. But anyway... I'm hoping that Santa delivers a victory for me and I get to keep holding this precious title that many guys have held in the past, like the late, great Brad Bratton and Franklin Tate Parker. And if you didn't know, now you know. Fans don't miss it. Former heavyweight champion in his own regard. Oh, hard into that buckle right there. He put DeAndre in there with every bit of momentum he could put behind that. And Chick now just standing right on the throat. And DeAndre gasping for breath at this point in time. He could crush a man's larynx doing that. The punishment these wrestlers sustain sometimes is absolutely incredible. The human resiliency. Chick White continues wrenching at the neck. Upon a tremendous amount of pressure and drops all of his weight right down on the back here. Ah, oh, got him in a camel clutch type position. It's not a full camel clutch, but it's certainly a, a variation thereof. He's sitting on his back, pulling back on his head and neck. And referee admonishing Chick White for digging in the eyes right there. This referee trying to maintain some decorum here. Ah, oh, stop right on the hand. Again, simple but effective. Chick White now moving back in. Oh, DeAndre caught him right there. And caught him again with another shot. Caught him with a third here. DeAndre now opening up on Chick White. The heavyweight champion now has turned the corner. And Chick White seeks a refuge on the floor. That's that veteran experience of Chick White right there coming into play. He knew the momentum had shifted. He knew he was in trouble. He knew that he had to put a stop to it. The best way he could was to step out of that ring and break the momentum. And now DeAndre now coming after him. But now DeAndre in a vulnerable position as he's coming in and Carts. Chick caught him. Caught him coming in now, drilling a series of hard shots in on him. Chick White taking care of business here against heavyweight champion DeAndre, champion DeAndre Jackson as the heavyweight championship hangs in the balance here at Southern States Wrestling. He caught him with a hard shot right there. And again, oh, DeAndre blocked it. The fires in a couple of his own. DeAndre now in for a cover and got a two count only on that one. The champion in his first title defense here tonight, Southern States Wrestling. Hard elbow smash to the top of the head. Takes Chick, puts him in position now, sets up, and a hard elbow. And for a cover, Chick White was able to kick out at two. He got that shoulder up. DeAndre Jackson, your current champion, made his way back to a vertical base. Comes across. Oh! He telegraphed it, and he lost it as a result thereof. Chick White now continuing to try to make his way back up. DeAndre catches him and caught him with a hard shot right there. Catches him with another one. DeAndre Jackson has things in control, at least for the time being, for the moment. Ah, just that fast. Chick fires back with a hard shot of his own. And of course, you know it had to happen. Here comes Crunch. Walk climbing right up on the ring here. He's got DeAndre held. Here comes Chick full of her steam. And oh, he missed Kid right there. DeAndre now rolls him up. He's got him. This could go it. And he did. There you have it. DeAndre Jackson pinning Chick White right there. 
and retains the heavyweight championship. Is it on? Okay, in my last commercial, I said that I can make a jingle, but I don't leave the room and we're filming. And you probably didn't think that I had an accordion, but I do. So I wanted to make a theme song for Southern States Wrestling. That'll be the jingle. The jingle is the theme song for Southern States Wrestling. We're going to make it right now. This accordion. Ready? One, two, three. I'm a monster, no fellow. This is WWE's Jerry the King Lawler, and Mountain Empire, this is your wrestling. Attention Mountain Empire, do you have a business, website, products, or an event to promote? Let us help you reach the masses with TV and internet ads. For just a few dollars a week, we offer commercial spots on Southern States Wrestling, reaching over 150,000 homes in the Mountain Empire and the world with YouTube. Don't wait. Jump on this opportunity now to reach a large audience for an affordable price. Email sswking at aol.com for all the info. Advertising packages you cannot afford to pass up. Hello everyone, this is your friend Misty James. And I'm inviting you to come out Tuesday, December 23rd at the Farmer's Market in Keysport, Tennessee to celebrate my birthday and Southern States Wrestling Christmas Star Wars. Please bring a canned food item for the local food banks. That's Tuesday night, December 23rd, bell time 7.30, in a well-heated farmer's market. And I will see you ringside. And you know what? These people haven't seen us yet. But once you do, you won't forget. Nope. The Washington Bullets are something that you can't unsee. Seamless teamwork, speed, agility, and guess what? You are jealous because we don't like you. Now any team that wants to face us, come on down. We're here to take gold and take names because when you face the Washington Bullets, our job is to win and your job is to lose. As well. As the time is rapidly slipping away for the television title to be on the line, Bo James, honest man there with a series of thrusts, karate thrust straight to the throat. There's the official announcement, 30 seconds remain. Bo James opening up now on Scott Sterling, he's got him in the ropes, he's got him rocking and reeling. James with an elbow right to the back of the head, right to the base of the skull. As the time limit now for the television title has slipped past, Bo James has got the, the sleeper here, the Shinnanamaki, the Cobra Clutch, call it what you will. And he's got him right there, he's won the matchup. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, not the television title. The time, the time had elapsed. The time had elapsed, unfortunately. But I know I don't have to worry about Bo James. And I know that I don't have... Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. I just walked in here to wait to hear my turn. I hear my own nephew say he don't have to worry about me. You know, you just said it right here on TV in front of everybody to hear. You think because you're the hot new thing, you're young, you think you don't have to worry about your uncle? You better ask this guy right here, Joe Wheeler, because he'll tell you, you better worry about me. I'm the person that put Robert Fuller's lights out. I'm the person that got up from Jared Aller's pile driver. And you're going to come on this TV. If, Joe Wheeler, if it wasn't even for me, you wouldn't be on this TV. If it wasn't even for me, nobody would even care about you. Tell me you ain't got to worry about me. I put my whole life in this profession, and you're going to come on TV and make some smart remark like that. Joe, all I was going to say is I don't have to worry about Bo James breaking the rules. Scott Sterling crawls back in the ring one more time to prove himself. This time they've stacked the odds against Scott Sterling. He's taken on the whole James family. But it doesn't matter. Everybody knows that Scott Sterling is a champion. Everybody knows that he rises to the occasion. And from recent events, 
I don't know that I have anything to worry about. Seems like there may be dissension in the James family. That doesn't matter if I take on one, if I take on all. Scott Sterling's the champion. Scott Sterling's going to stay the champion. Christmas Kingsport. Kingsport is getting your gift that night. Scott Sterling back in the ring. Scott Sterling defending his title, putting the end to the Bo James family. Wrestle fans, Joe Wheeler here with Bo James and Jake Booth. And the last time we had both these guys on television, things got very, very heated in regard to the matchup coming on Christmas at the Farmer's Market in Kingsport, Tennessee. And, Bo, I just wanted to bring you guys back, and, and let's see if we can't settle things down, maybe. Well, we sit down this week, and we settled it, and we sit down at my house, and we, I understand I took, you know, I come out of the match with Scott Sterling. I was upset because I did not get the TV title because it was 15 minutes and 30 seconds, and the title's only up for 15 minutes, and I misunderstood what Jake said because I just walked in and happened to hear him say that. But that's all right because we've made up, we've taken care of stuff. But I'll come out here, and I, and I want to be here because, Jake, I went to my lawyer this week, and Joe Wheeler Championship Committee, you can approve this. Both of you can sign it today, and it will take care of it. And what this explains is Jake will sign this, and he will take himself out of the match on Christmas night. That way it will be me and Scott Sterling in a return match from the Thanksgiving extravaganza. If I lose, if Scott can beat me, or if I can't get out of there with the belt by hook or crook like he did the last time, then Jake will get the next chance. But if I win the television title, then Jake will have to wait till somebody else can come along, beat me, or I'm injured or retired or whatever happens. And then that way, Jake won't have to be in there. It'll just be me and Scott Sterling. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm a former champion. I understand. I have the right to be in this match. And I'm going to be in this match. Because if I can beat the both of you. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. If you could, did he just say beat both of us? Let me tell you something, Jake. You've got a couple years under your belt, and I know you're young and you're full of pee and vinegar, and you think it's great that you're going to get in here with two veterans, but let me explain something to you. You have come up in a different time than myself or Scott Sterling. The wrestling profession has changed over the years, and if you think you can get in there, look here. You have rode on my coattails. You have rode on your aunt's coattails, you have rode on your cousin KC, and you have even rode on your brother Dakota's coattails to get on this TV. And let me explain something to you. When I started in this profession, how old are you, Jake Booth? Tell the people right there, Jake. I want everybody to know. I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. When I was 20 years old, I was wrestling people like Ivan Koloff and the Mongolian Stomper and the Stud Stable and the Rock and Roll Express and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I came up the hard way. By blood and bruise, I paid my dues, and you have got right in here because you're related to me. Scott Sterling, just like me, came up the hard way, and I don't like the guy, but I'm going to give him credit. And if you think you can beat both of us Christmas night, then you try. Fans, be sure to join us Christmas night at the Farmer's Market, Kingsport, Tennessee. This thing's getting crazy.